Uh, sir, what about the weight? Weight, weight you have to neglect. Huh? There, there's no question of any gravity something. Hmm? There, there, no, no gravity. So where it is, it's a biggest problem for students to imagine the situation. Okay, actually it, it is like this. Huh? This is the layer of liquid. Fine, okay, this is the layer of, okay, we'll do one thing. Just uh, I'll help you with the imagination. Hmm? Uh, where, where is, where is uh, the ring? The ring is like this. Huh? Okay, at least now, a uh, little bit, you, you got an idea. And, and it is injured. How it is injured, let's not bother. This ring, and the ring is having a radius R. This is the uh, soap water, layer of soap water. This is a ring. Okay, at least now, okay, I'm, I'm applying force vertically here. Maximum value of F such that ring does not lift it in is, so find the value of N. How the force due to surface tension will act? I think uh, primary, the, the question is what we should ask ourselves. The force due to surface tension should act vertically down. How at all points? It is placed on flat surface. So the lower part of the ring will be in contact. Uh, it, it is as good as like a, some something, some ring you are holding on your in, in your palm. Then definitely what will happen? Your skin will exert force, no? Will try to exert a force in, in similar way, this one. Okay, I'll proceed with the mathematics. Oh, yeah. this ring okay I just made thick so that uh, we can understand the conditions This is the inch, that one. Okay, what, what is that, that inch? The, the, the center of the ring. Oh, and there's the inch I'll call A or something, or whatever that one. So there's the inch. Hmm. Okay, let's assume two symmetric elements. It's a thin ring, it, it's actually thin ring. Okay, the, uh, we'll do one thing, I'll, I'll remove this circle. Yeah. Some, some, let me assume two symmetric elements about point two. Okay, here is what? Let me assume two strips, two small elemental length, let me assume it here. So let the length of that be ds. So how the force of these two elements will be? About point A we should calculate. So here they should be r, this is r, this is r, this is r. Okay, let this be theta, theta, this will be theta, this will be theta. Th this will subtend an angle. Uh, 
okay fine hmm? sum okay what is this this length let it be ds r length ds equal to r d theta if you want you can write it now how the force will be acting the force here will act let's say that the the force here will be acting uh, into the plane or out of the plane either one so these forces acting on plane will set up a torque So what is the torque due to this one? So it should be equal to. Okay, we'll start from here. D tau should be equal to two into D F into R. Okay, how that force will act? <coughs> what are the two elements? The two elements is what you have chosen here. One year, one year. Symmetric elements you have chosen. So this force will set up a torque about this. The force acting here will set up a torque about this. Fine. Okay, now what is D F? What is the DF? So I think uh, we should take like this, no? Because uh, th there's a ring. Th there'll be uh, actually it's a ring that one. Th there'll be force a at this particular point because here th there's a ring. So force will be acting at either one, no? I'm showing either one. So DF what should add surface tension into length. So I'll, I'll write two S T into D S. Sufficient is S no, or, or let me write S T. Hmm. Now Y two. You see, this there's a ring no. So so definitely, what will happen? You you there'll be force acting at this point and also this point. You look at this particular thing. Force will be acting at the outer edge and also at the inner edge. That's why I'm taking the two parameters. So this, okay, then let's get into calculation. So this will be 4ST. Uh, what is DS? DS should be equal to R D theta. R D theta into R. Keep it here. Okay, now uh, 4 S T R square D theta. So D tau should be equal to 4 S T R square D theta. What to do with uh, theta? Any replacement? So here you can bring the geometry. This will become alpha. This will become alpha. 2 theta plus alpha 2 theta. Okay, alpha by 2, I'll take it. Huh? 2 theta plus alpha, according to the geometry, 2 theta plus alpha should be 180. So therefore, alpha should be equal to 180 minus 2 theta. Keep it like this. Then uh, sine alpha by 2, what we can write it as? Sine alpha by 2 should be equal to r by 2 sine alpha by 2. Look at the triangle. Should be equal to r by 2 by r. So therefore, smaller I can replace. So what is smaller? I'll, I'll come to later on this one. Let me get into mathematics here. R by two equal to R sine of alpha by two. Now, what is uh, al alpha 180? So this will become 90 minus theta. If you want, you can do that. Okay, just leave it. Huh? Okay, not, not need it. Just keep it here. We'll see the limits later on. So shall I bring now uh, R by 2 is this much. So what is R equal to? 2 R sine alpha by 2. Okay, let me substitute that here. Okay, this is D tau equal to 4 S T R square D theta. No. This should be equal to 4 ST R square will be 
2r sin of alpha by 2 whole square into d theta. This will become 8 str 4 16 str square 16 str square uh, what will be left of sin square alpha by 2 into theta sin square theta we can write it as 16 str square 1 minus cos of 2 alpha by 2 whole divided by 2 into d theta d tau so this will be 8 str square 1 minus cos alpha d theta uh, alpha 180 minus 2 theta now now i'll bring it 8 str square 1 minus cos of 180 minus 2 theta d theta just some some mathematics is involved a little bit so this will be 8 st r square d theta a cos of 180 minus theta 180 minus 2 theta should be cos 2 theta minus of cos 2 theta so therefore this will become plus 8 st r square cos 2 theta d theta uh, anybody watch with the limit limit for what theta I assume talk due to two elements here. So what should be the limit now? If I do zero to pi by two, I'll get, so I assume two elements here. I assume two elements here, no, no not like this, <coughs> two elements. So if I do zero to pi by two, what do I get? I get the torque due to this particular part. Theta equal to zero, the element will come here. Fine. Theta equal to pi by two, the, the element will come here. So zero to pi by two, if I take the limits now, I'll get the torque due to the, this particular half. Since two, two I took, no, two elements I took. So therefore, even due to this also will come. If this two were not there, the limit should have been minus pi by two to plus pi by two. Uh, able to understand the mathematics here. Since we assume two elements, so if we just take the limit theta zero, the element will come here. Theta 90 degrees, the element will come here. So therefore, so when you take zero to pi by two, you'll get the torque due to this half. Since we took two, no, means due to this half and also due to this half. So therefore, the limit should be zero to pi by two. So therefore the net torque, okay, substituting all this solving, uh, anybody value? If you can give me value. Anybody value of this integral cos 2 theta d theta? Will it be zero, am I right? Okay, see that the integral of cos 2 theta will be sine 2 theta, sine pi and sine zero will be zero. So therefore the net torque acting on the ring will be hmm, let's come for this one. Okay, somehow. Uh, I, I, I brought this one. Tell me like a, who should balance this torque due to, this is what, torque due to surface tension. Or problem not at all, torque due to surface tension. Who should balance this torque? How do this torque will act? Any, anybody, any idea? How do this torque will act? What is the sense here? 
this torque will about about a it will be anti clockwise like this torque due to surface tension it will be like this huh? the applied force should apply torque like this then only equilibrium is possible no so what is the torque by the applied force f into 2r A four S T R square, two pi. Ah, why two pi? Pi by two only. Ah, oh, okay, okay, fine, fine. Yeah, that will be okay for equilibrium. So, I'll, I'll, this is our calculation part. No, for equilibrium. I think I have a space here. Now for equilibrium, so what should we write? Torque due to surface tension should be equal to torque due to force. Hmm. Torque due to surface tension. We know torque due to force F into two R. So eight S T R square pi. So what is the force should be equal to four S T pi R. So what is Torque due to surface tension is four S T R square plus. This is four S T. Ah, uh huh. Okay, okay. Yeah. This will become two then. Ah, uh, two S T pi R will be that one. So the value of n will be two that one. Okay, agree this. So now uh, this is one method I have shown. Uh, some students like it. They you can also think like this. Huh? You can also think like this. I'll I'll give another alternative method. This ring, where the force due to surface tension. I think uh, in this diagram, I'm showing things little bit clear. The force will be acting at the inner edge and also at the outer edge. Radius is what R. So we have applied a external force. How much F? And this is inch. So same same diagram. Once again, I'm bringing it here. Fine. Uh, where, where do this <coughs> force due to surface tension? Shall we calculate force due to surface tension? This should be equal to two into. Oh 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 oh. I'll get the screen. Huh? Okay, uh, is it visible? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I think we have lost so much. Huh? Okay, I'll, I'll I'll do it here now. Huh? So this will become four S T pi R square. This is torque due to. Surface tension. So for equilibrium, for equilibrium, F into two R, four S T pi R square. So therefore, what is the value of four? Two pi S T into R. Okay, this this will be our answer. Huh? And how do this torque? This torque will act. clockwise okay this is about our discussion so let, let me bring another idea no the the force will act at outer edge and also at the inner edge and it is injured like this 
uh, another uh, you you can think also like this and this is what the external force now what is the force due to surface tension should be 2 into 2 pi r into s2 will i agree this i think uh, this because why 2 at inner as well as outer edge the force will be acting If you want to conduct it, the the force will act at inner as well as outer edge. I think in the diagram I'm showing clearly, force will act at inner and outer edge. Hmm. Now, uh, where do this force due to surface tension will act? It is acting. The resultant force will act through point O. The resultant force will act. It will act downward. So the same ring. <coughs> so what you can show it like. Uh, this will be very interesting for you. So this will be F S, and this is what F. Solve it. You'll get the same answer. Uh, this will be very difficult for students to do imagination like this. Uh, where do this force? The resultant force. The this total resultant force will act through the point O. Now you apply the torque, torque due to applied force, F into 2R, torque due to surface, we know this formula, apply it, it solve it, you'll get the same answer. This will be very difficult, huh? only if, a, if you know some concepts, everything okay, otherwise stick on to the mathematics. Th this will be much easier, you can see this. So now, now what is the thing I can write? F into 2R equal to Fs into R. Solve it, you'll get the same answer. Fine, huh? able to understand this. Uh, these are the some many applications will come. You have to be very careful about this particular topic. Okay, we'll take the next one. Yeah.